In this video, we're going to break down and kind of dissect this book review. We're going to use it as a mentor text, so we're going to use it to see how to model our own book reviews when we write it for the other Westmore. Okay, so at the end of this lesson, you're going to uh, practice outlining and potentially even writing your own book review for what you've read of the other Westmore so far. So to do that, we need to first figure out how do we structure a book review. A book review is not a book report. It's not, we're not going back to middle school. This is a book review. So you can see this is from the New York Times. This is a professional and published book review on the novel Thousand Splendid Sons. This is a novel that we're going to read later in the school year. Um, and just so you know, it does not spoil everything. So to start, uh, if you haven't read this already, you need to go back to our document, our instructions document for the week, and reread, or not reread, but click on the link that goes to this and read this article before you watch this video, because we're not going to read every word of it in here. All right, so I'm just looking at to see how this is structured. So you'll notice this first section of this, a large first section of this, is talking about the author's previous works. You may not know, we have not discussed uh, the other, or the author Westmore's previous novels. I don't need you to talk about or find something else that he's written to talk about here. The purpose of this first section, which is, looks like, actually, this whole piece here, the whole purpose of this whole first section is just to discuss relevant author background info. I say relevant because you don't necessarily need when the author was born, where they were born, and things like that, but if it's relevant, you'll want to include that. You don't need to do a whole bunch of extra research on Wes Moore to figure it out because we read his memoir, right? We know where he was born, we know when he was born, and those are probably two very relevant things when we're talking about his memoir, where it took place, why he's a credible author to be talking about the things that were talked about in Westmore. So discussing relevant author background info. You don't need to do extra research, but what do you know about the author? What are important pieces about the author's past that we might want to include at the beginning of this? All right, as we continue reading, you'll see, then it jumps into oh, talking a little bit about the novel itself. Uh, for the purpose, oops, let's add that, for the purpose of identifying the author's intent. So the reviewer here discusses the author's intent, which in this case you can see, in the case of Splendid Sons, Husini quickly makes it clear that he intends to deal with the plight of women in Afghanistan. And in the opening pages, well, and it goes on. Right, it talks about the different topics that are going to be covered in this. So this is the author's intention. So you might want to think about, why did Westmore write this book? Why do you think he wrote this book? What was in his intention? What was his purpose behind it? That's what you're talking about in the next part of your piece. Okay, then we get into covering different topics and major plot points. You might notice this is a little bit longer than what I asked you for. The reason for that is I don't need you to include as much summary and as much discussion of the plot points in the book as this author did here. You're also not going to be including quite as much author background info. So specifically when we're talking about the next piece in this after the relevant author background info and after the author's intention, you are going to be talking about major topics in the novel, so you can see that's kind of, okay, here we go. Okay, so these are the major topics covered in the novel. You might possibly want to include, this is where you might include, um, at most two to three major plot points as they relate to the topic. So not just for the sake of summarizing the book, I've read the book, but for the sake of discussing how those plot points 
develop and relate to those major topics. So major topics such as parenting, environment, personal choice, poverty, things like that. And you'll see as the reviewer talks about it in here, he's not just presenting it, he's also adding his opinion. Okay, if you can look up here, this opening quickly gives way to even more soap opera-ish events. Clearly doesn't love those events. Um, it goes on, right, adding little things here about how the reviewer feels about the way that these topics were portrayed, right? So we want to add here, make sure to include your personal opinion on how the author handled those topics. Because again, this is a review. This isn't just a report. Here's what happened in the book. This is your review of what that looks like. Okay, lastly, we can see right here, Okay, you want to end your piece by discussing um, what either makes the book worth it to read it or what makes it not worth it. So at the end of the day, what is this book worth reading or is it not worth reading? So you can see this author does or this reviewer does it here. But in the end, it is these glimpses of daily life in Afghanistan that make this novel so stirring and that distract attention from its myriad flaws. So he's saying, you know, it's not perfect, but it's worth reading because of these glimpses of daily life in Afghanistan. Okay, so end your piece with why the book is or is not worth, oops, worth the read. And a little bit about what exactly makes it worth it. All right, so just a quick refresher. We've got, you start by discussing relevant author background information. Then you move into the author's intention, why you believe that the author wrote this novel. Then you want to include what major topics were covered in the novel, possibly two to three major plot points as they relate to it, making sure that you're including your opinion. How do you believe those topics were handled? And then lastly, you want to end it with why the book is or is not worth the read and what makes it worth it or not. Good luck.